Welcome back to the channel, man. On today's episode of 1-800, we out of boost. We're going to focus on Pootie Tang today, man. Um, as y'all know, I've been driving this thing around. It's been pulling good. It's been doing what it's supposed to do. But we've been having some issues since day one. Um, transmission issues, which you guys know about. Just had some problems with it slipping in and out of gear. Um, so I want to go ahead and get that taken care of. Uh, we did put the transmission back in, but we still got some little issues. It's not quite a hundred percent, so it's no big deal. We're gonna get that back out, get that taken care of. Also, since I have to wait on that, we're gonna go ahead and address this issue that I have. So let me show y'all what we got going on right here. So I know y'all remember this catch can right here, right? Um, the last time I went to the track when I had that previous MSD box in here, that uh, Ultra Plus box, some kind of way when I shut the car off and restarted the engine, the MSD box reset all of the settings that I had programmed in the box. And that way it threw a tremendous amount of timing into the motor, which I was under boost. And I'm almost certain that I have nicked a piston ring, possibly heard a piston. The reason I know is before this canister right here, it was not smoking as it is now. That's why I have this rag over it. Also, this rag is soaked in oil. So um, if I drain this canister and I drive maybe three to five miles down the road, it'll be back full of oil and this rag will be soaking wet. So that is the telltale sign that lets me know that day I nicked a piston or a piston ring. The car still makes good power. I mean, I can go out there and blaze the tires right now with no effort, but because of this excessive oil blow by hair coming through here, I know that there is an issue. So, with all these guys talking smack, we're going to go ahead and put a name on it. Chain Gang Racing, Twin Towers Racing, uh, my brother from another mother, George A1 Custom, got that Camaro. Everybody had a fit about him being on 15-inch hard tires. For those of you who don't know, let me show you what that is. Flip this camera. That right there is a 15-inch hard tire. They had a problem with him running on those. Over here at SSP, me personally, I don't care nothing about it. You can stay on your 15s, man. So we got a race locked out for June 15th at um, Middle Georgia Motorsports. And this is really finna be crunch time. So I'm hoping I can get the transmission fixed back in the car, get this engine out, tore down. I'm just hoping, y'all, that I can get some pistons. Um within the next man this week i need pistons hey 1-800 we need pistons today so if i can get some pistons in this car this week um we should be able to have the engine back in the car back together transmission and everything um by the end of this week can test it make sure everything is functioning properly and then we can attend the race so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned man because we will have bobby coming back with the brown and we'll have Pootie Tang at the track June 15th. So we ain't gonna waste no more time, y'all. Let's dig in. Alright, right, y'all. We got him up out of there. Now once I get this thing over here to my little can well, I'm gonna sit these uh motor transmission on. I'm gonna show y'all, man. Y'all can't use them little motor plate. I don't know how it works, but it works. I've been using them for a while. You can see motor and transmission out together. No blankets, no napkins. School like butter, baby. All right, motor and transmission still together. And this is what I want to show y'all. That little plate right there. Now, I know a lot of y'all scared to use the plate. And I ain't going to lie. I was too. But I don't use this plate a numerous amount of times. I don't put it in some strange situations, man. And I don't know how they made this work. But them little bolts holding them little threads hold all this weight, man. I pull motors and trans all the time just by that plate. I ain't had no issues yet. So I'm going to say... This plate is plating. But we're going to go ahead and separate this transmission from the engine, get the blower off, pop the heads off, 
and see what kind of damage we done did. All right, we got the supercharger, the intake, and the heads broken off the engine. And upon diagnosis, you guys can see right there, man. Piston number, what's that? Number five. And if you look closely, number three. So I don't know if you guys seen in my previous video, but on my I think I want to say that was my second pass when I ran against Don't Master. Um I was having issues with the box and I didn't notice it on that particular pass. So when I got halfway down the track, if you look on that video, you can see a lot of white um, smoke push out of the driver's side exhaust. And I heard the valve, and that's what caused me to let out of the gas. And of course, I'm in the middle of a race. So as Dunk Master was coming back up on me, I mean, I'm trying to win. I went back to the floor and he clipped me just at the end. So I wasn't able to win that race. But when you guys seen that white smoke push out of that um, driver's side exhaust, that was me probably clipping the piston then. Not sure if I did both at the same time, if I did three first, five first, or vice versa. But that was when it started happening because after that pass, I noticed uh, my cancer started smoking a little more than usual. And then I proceeded to make another pass after that not knowing that um the timing had spiked so it was putting it had put 52 degrees of timing in the motor on top of boost so i mean for it to only just be two pistons i guess i guess that's okay i'm not 100 percent sure i mean for some 900 dollar pistons i mean i think they could have took a little more beating but i mean hey that much timing i don't think nobody can hold on but other than that they all look pretty much uh, the same, at least the burn does. And just so you guys know, man, a lot of them people don't believe me, but I want y'all to see the numbers on that block. All y'all want to know what I'm running? Google that. This is a small motor, and I still gonna put it back up to the best of them. Um, so this is what we got. Hopefully, I can get two pistons, but if not, I'm gonna see if I can get a whole new set of pistons. Um, balancing is gonna be an issue. Hopefully, I can find something. Where the grounds is not off tremendously. If it's off by just a little, I can get away with it. I'm gonna slap another set in here, re-ring it. Um, new head gaskets. I think I might stud it this time. I don't know. I didn't have any head gasket issue. Didn't have no um coolant issues with it running hot or anything like that. But I don't know. Probably put some studs in it this time. Who knows? But <clears throat> if I can get some pictures, man, we will have this thing back together in the next two or three days. If I can't get my transmission back in time, man, I may just have to purchase a new one or something. We got to get on these boys' head. Yeah, chain gang racing. Let me see, I got your chain over there somewhere. I still got y'all chain. I'm gonna give y'all a chance to get it back. Um, Twin Towers, I'm knocking both of them down. Um, George A1, June 15th, that little pretty Camaro. I'm keeping my 24s on. You on your 15 inch hard tires. And hey, man, we gonna let it do what it do. Um, that white smoke again, that was me tearing my motor up. But we finna get it back fixed, get it back in the car. Y'all know what's going on there, man. SSP, if you haven't already, man, like, comment, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up so I can keep pushing this content, man. Y'all stay tuned. SSP.